Hi, Sky Taylor here. Have you ever had your hood lock on your car and you can't get it up? And uh, it becomes a real problem. Well, this happened to me. I uh, had to get an oil change. And when I went inside my car to pull the lever, of course it's in the middle of winter, the latch even broke off. I said, oh my God, what am I gonna do now? I can't get the hood open. But I was trying to get this open and it wouldn't unlock anyways. So now I got two problems going on. I've got a hood that won't open up and I also have uh, a latch that's broken. So what do you do? Well, first thing I did was I took it to a Mercedes dealer and they charge $170 an hour. And the guy fiddled around with it. He got a pair of pliers and he was pulling on the wire trying to get it up and it, it didn't work. And he says, well, make an appointment and come back. So I made an appointment, but I was thinking, I don't really want to pay that much money to have that done because he could be on there for five or six hours. And at 170 bucks an hour, I'm thinking, oh my God. So I took it over to another mechanic and uh, he looked at it. And he said, well, you know, he said he couldn't get it open. He worked on it for about an hour. And he said, but no charge, you know. He said, but I'm going to tell you where you can go to get your hood uh, opened up. He says, when you do, bring it back and get an oil change. I said, okay, that's fine. He says, it's right in your town. He said, well, the funny thing is, is that where I was going was 45 miles away because I live in the country. And the guy says, no, there's a place right in your town that can fix this. I said, well... Who is it? It's a body shop. Well, I never thought of a body shop. Everybody else at Mercedes was saying, well, you know, we got to take off the whole front end. Well, there's a catch-22. You cannot take the front end off unless you open up the hood. There's no way to get at the, uh, the uh, screws and everything on here. So to make a short story even longer, I took it to the local body shop. And the guy walks around the car and he looks at it. And he says, oh, he says, I'm going to tell you, what it, what it is, he says. You've got a, a lock here on the corner. He says, you've got a lock in the middle and you've got a lock on the end. He says, what's happening is I could get open, um, oh, I think it was uh, these two popped open. No, maybe these, this, these two, but the end one wouldn't work. It was locked up, it was jammed. So it was holding up the hood. I could get it popped open a little bit and it wasn't gonna come up. But now I had another problem because I'm driving it and the dinger is going off. Even though the hood's not going to pop off, the dinger on the, uh, the panel is, is going off, saying that it could pop open. You know, it happens after like about 30 or 40 miles an hour, it starts dinging and it's driving me crazy. But it wasn't going to pop open because it was actually had enough locks on it. But anyways, he walks around the car and he looks, he says, I could do it in probably about 35 or 45 minutes at $55 an hour. I says, oh, now you got my attention. So I made an appointment and I brought it back. And uh, in his shop, he has a window that you can look through. So I watched what he did. Guy's a genius, really simple. Everybody's telling me, you gotta take off the front end. You gotta do this. No, he walked around, he took off the wheel. He took off this wheel and went in through the wheel well had it open in like 40 minutes. So, at $55 an hour, hey, he charged me an hour's worth of work, that's fine. But I also bought him a pizza. And I was really happy, so there's the secret. And it doesn't matter if you have a Mercedes like I do, or maybe any foreign car, take it to a body shop, not to a mechanic, or maybe you could do it yourself if you're that inclined. You have to take off the wheel, try going through the wheel well. That's my solution. This is a 2008 uh, 450 uh, GL, GL 450. And that's the problem I had. Also, I'm gonna show you another little trick that I did, just in case you get the hood open and that alarm keeps sounding up because maybe you might have a broken latch. I'm gonna show you what to do to stop that dinging noise that drives you crazy temporarily until you can get it fixed. Okay, here's the latch right here. Uh, this one was sticking. You see this little metal thing right here? What you do is you take out these screws and you lift it up and you can put a, uh, a zip tie right here to hold this lever down because when the latch comes down and hooks on it, it pushes down this uh, little metal um, trigger. 
So by uh, putting a zip tie over to hold it down, uh, it prevents the uh, alarm from going off. Now this is on the right side. Uh, it would be on the driver's side. This is the latch on the driver's side. Well, what I needed to do is I needed to have a whole new, uh, I think I had to have this replaced which wasn't much it was like 17 bucks with a body shop but that's the secret is you want to get a zip tie down to hold down this little uh this little um lever right here so you have to take this off and then zip tie it to hold it down and then it stops the dinging inside and that's okay you know we have uh this car has um three latches it has one on each side like this and then the regulation latch in the middle. Now, why they went and put three latches on, I don't know. I'm sure there's a logical answer, but not in my world it's not. Because I grew up in the uh, 50s and 60s, and there was only the middle latch to hold down the hood, and I never had a problem. But I guess they think safety. But, well, that's the secret to do that, too. You get a little zip tie to hold that down. Well, I hope you learned something, and I thank you very much for watching my video.